scenes in all history. And this morning, I had another talk with the German Chancellor, Herr Hitler. And here is the paper which bears his name upon it as well as mine. <laughs> In 1982, Anwar Sadat traveled to Israel, a trip that resulted in a peace agreement that has lasted ever since. In the spirit of that type of bold leadership, would you be willing to meet separately, without precondition, during the first year of your administration in Washington or anywhere else, with the leaders of Iran, Syria, Venezuela, Cuba, and North Korea, in order to bridge the gap that divides our countries? I should also point out that Stephen is in the crowd tonight, Senator Obama. I would. Uh, and the reason is this, that the notion that somehow not talking to countries uh, is punishment to them, uh, which has been the guiding uh, diplomatic principle of this administration, is ridiculous. Taking aim once again at Israel and the United States, Iranian President Mahmoud Ahmadinejad repeated inflammatory comments that he made three years ago, saying Israel would soon disappear. Ahmadinejad first made the remarks in 2005, fueling international outrage and speculation that he was threatening the Jewish state with a nuclear weapon.